What is up everyone? So today's video is going to be very interesting. I just couldn't resist the hype so I bought this. The Horizon Devices Precision Drive. Just in case if you have no idea what this pedal is. Horizon Devices is a brand new company by Misha Mansour from the band Periphery. This is their first and only pedal for now. It's an overdrive pedal aimed towards the modern day guitarist. So you could say this is the combination of two pedals in fact, a noise gate and an overdrive. So if we take a closer look at the pedal, we got a transparent knob with a blue LED in the middle, which is the noise gate. Then we got a five position attack knob, a volume knob, a bright knob and a drive. So the five position attack knob lets you choose between fat, saturated sounds or very tight and stringy sounds. Volume, obvious. Bright, the bright knob is what I would call the tone knob. And then of course the drive knob, which gives you extra saturation and distortion. Yeah, that's it for the little introduction. So for now I'm trying to keep this video as objective as I can. So I figured the best way to do that is do an A-B comparison without telling you the answer. It's going to be a full mix, very very basic riff, just something random. And then you're gonna hear the guitars from that mix soloed without any EQ or post-processing. What am I going to compare this to? So the basic sound is going to be my Line 6 HD500, just the amp simulation from the pod paired with the two nodes cap impulses. So the precision drive is going to compete against the built-in noise gate and screamer from the pod. The guitar I'm using for this video is my Ibanez Prestige uh, RGD2120 which has been customized with obviously the paint and Bernacle Aftermath pickups. You can find a demo of this guitar on my channel. So now it's time for the AB comparison, make your guesses and the answer is coming later on. <laughs> So now, make your final guess, and the answer is A is the Line 6, B is the Precision Drive. So tell me in the comments what your guess was, I'm really interested in that. Yeah, so that was the AB comparison between the Precision Drive and the Line 6 built-in noise gate and screamer. So now, after you know the answer, I'm going to show you what this pedal does exactly with your sound. And for that, we're going to listen to a dry guitar signal going through the precision drive. And I'm just going to play around with the knobs and we're going to hear what it actually does to the initial sound before it goes into the amp. Additionally, I'm going to play through my regular rhythm guitar setup and play around on the knobs and show you the different sounds because the AB comparison was actually the sound that I personally preferred the most 
but it didn't show all the possibilities that the pedal can do. So I'm going to do that now. I think now it's time to make this video more subjective. So I think I bought this pedal out of love for Misha and his engagement in the community. I was just super curious and I just had to know what it sounds like. So I ordered one right from uh, Horizon Devices in America. I thought that 200 euros including shipping was acceptable for this pedal. But watch out, if you're living in Europe just like me, you will have to pay import taxes, which were in my case 60 euros. So this pedal was 260 euros. 
So, the question is, does this pedal live up to the hype in the community? To be completely honest with you, for me personally, it doesn't. I don't know, I just bought it and I thought it would completely revolutionize my tone. The difference between the Line 6 built-in Screamer and this is not worth 260 euros for me. Does the pedal give you a nice tone? Yes, it does. Do I prefer the sound of this over the Line 6 sound only? I'm not even sure, to be completely honest, because it gives a nice character or color to the tone, but it also creates a lot of noise, in my opinion. Maybe it's just my AC adapter, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> but I can't quite get this very, very, very clean sound that I can get with the Screamer and noise gate from the pod. It's very nice to have the noise gate built in here, but the thing is, you just have one dial. You know, it's just like a lot of noise gate, or not a lot of noise gate. I prefer adjusting threshold and decay individually. Another thing, I feel or my first impression was that this pedal doesn't feel like it's a $220 pedal. And I think that's because it's so light. It's very light. I'm, I'm used to heavy pedals. If I take my Boss noise suppressor, you know, this feels heavy and, and solid. That's a weird way to judge a pedal. It's actually completely irrelevant, but still, I did notice it. Second thing, the package. I don't know. I've not bought many pedals in my life, actually two, which were two Boss pedals. I did expect to have a very nice packaging. This is just a black paper box and the logo is a sticker on that. I did expect more. On the other hand, kind of irrelevant to what it sounds like. Okay, so the third issue is the one that bothers me the most. I got the pedal, I unboxed it started just like checking it out, turning the knobs, and I realized that the attack knob was completely stuck. It didn't want to move, it was stuck at the first position. So I kind of panicked because I just paid a lot of money to get this pedal from the US and I would have to send it back at my own expense. With some force I then pulled off the knob and I discovered a little piece of tape which was blocking the pot. Apparently this piece of tape was there to prevent the knob from falling off because after I removed that tape the knob just didn't want to stay on there but the pot did work so apparently somebody at MXR MXR is building these panels somebody thought oh the attack knob is falling off let's just kind of tape that on there and it's fine and somebody in the QC department was like hmm, the attack knob isn't turning let's ship it anyway Really, those guys should get their shit together and not make this happen again because it really, really pissed me off. I don't know, it just kind of biased me in my whole opinion about this pedal. Okay, so enough raging. I think to end this video I'm going to say some more good things about this pedal. I found out that this pedal is actually very nice for bass guitar. I actually recorded the bass for my upcoming EP with the precision drive. You know, they say you can get a very tight sound without sacrificing low ends. And I was like, hmm, without sacrificing low end. Let's try it on the bass. And it, it, I must say, it really works fine. You know, I wouldn't buy it just for the bass, but if you have it, it's very nice. Now, at the end of the day, this pedal is doing a very, very great job. <coughs> Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this pedal is shit. I'm just saying that this pedal did not live up to my own personal expectations the pedal does exactly what they advertise it for so i hope that this video was informative and helpful you know i try to keep it objective on one side but also share my personal and subjective opinion so as always thank you very much for watching this video guys if you're new to my channel feel free to browse my other videos and subscribe to my channel that's it for today and i will see you next time